Barnet take on Wealdstone on Saturday in our latest National League game. I'm joined here by Assistant Manager John Dreyer. John, first of all, we've had a week to reflect on that Notts County point. What are your thoughts? I thought it was a terrific point. I thought it was a really good, entertaining game. Um, first half, they, they obviously had the lion's share of the possession, as you'd expect to them, a very good team. And, uh, you know, the second half we came out and it was a different story. It was a game of really two halves. So I think we were lucky to go in uh, one nil up, uh, one uh, one all at half time. Second half we got in a number of chances and really, you know, wouldn't have been uh, beyond us to actually win the game. But overall, we're delighted with the point against a very good team. And this week's been the first week in some time that we've had no midweek game. How have we used that to our full affection? I think first and foremost is good just to not have a mid a midweek game because we've had so many in recent weeks um so we could properly prepare for the game and obviously it was a good chance and a good opportunity for some of the the injured lads to come back so they've been training all week and uh, so you know suddenly we're spoiled spoiled for choice in terms of uh, team selection for the first time obviously uh, saturday derby day it's the first of three big away games for us what's the message to the squad going into tomorrow Message to the squad: Listen, we need to keep focused. We, um, you know, we need to be, uh, as I said, going into the game against uh, Notts County. Physically, we need to be right on top of things. It's going to be a, a really difficult game. They've had a good season, good footballing team. Uh, I know they've had a couple of enforced changes uh, with regard to international duty. You know, expect the likes of Kretschmar to be back. Uh, so they're going to have a, a few changes, which we anticipate. But um, you know, the message is, you know, be on the front foot. Um, and, and, you know, enjoy these games as well. They're all big games now at this stage of the season because there's so much to play for. So, you know, we've got to enjoy and, and uh, embrace these games and, uh, and, as I say, be on the front foot. Uh, they have suffered two defeats in their last two games, but and a real must win for them to keep their sort of playoff hopes alive. What sort of challenge are you expecting from Wildstone tomorrow? I think irrespective of, of, of the... Uh, ambitions of getting in the playoffs so I think it's because of the fact it is a local derby there's going to be that interest anyway um, so it's going to be a really hard fought game uh, and, and you know both teams want to win it I'm sure uh, over the last few weeks Dean's mentioned about wanting to bring players in yesterday we've got Emmanuel Fernandez centre back from Peterborough what will he bring to the squad uh, Manny he's, he's a, a giant of a lad six foot six very athletic Good in the air, uh, very comfortable on the on the ground as well. Um, so it gives us another option at the back. And you know, over the course of the season, you know, we've 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 had t times where we you know we've had to put in midfielders into the back four. Suddenly now we're sport for choice. Dom Dom Revan's back. Um, Danny's trained this week, so you know we're suddenly spoiled for choices. But what he does, he gives a bit of balance on that right side. He's a natural right side. I know he's been playing left side for Peterborough, but uh, he's a natural right sider. And as I say, you know he fits in with what we're about. You know he can hold a high line, and he's got the pace to deal with that. Someone who wasn't uh, blessed with a midweek break, but Ryan de Havilland played for England uh, C on Tuesday and scored the winning goal. How proud is the club of him and his achievements? Oh, we're so proud of Ryan. I think he's he's just gone from strength to strength, uh, and and you know, it, was I surprised he got the winner uh, against Wales? No, I wasn't. You know, that's that that's Ryan. You know, he's, he can always sniff out a goal and sniff out an opportunity. And, and a wonderful technical player. Um, we've got high hopes for him, really. And finally, uh, we've had a few injuries the last few weeks. Can you give us any updates to the squad ahead of Wildstone? Yeah, they're all they're all they're all coming back, pretty much back. We're we're we've probably been, in terms of team selection, the best position we have all season. So, and and with the added bodies as well coming in, so we're we're in really good shape in that respect. John, thank you for your time. Thanks,